Hello again, um, it's really nice to see you back here and today I've got Jason on board because we're going to talk about some really stupid and fun and also historical incidents, um, mainly containing famous people uh, because Headingham has a habit of attracting really interesting folk and um, when we've been here they've uh, given us some quite good anecdotes haven't they? We've had a good laugh, yeah. I mean, o over the years, Headingham's... You said with a completely yeah. straight face, we've had a good laugh. Um, over the years, we've had lots of interesting visitors and used to be kings and queens and all that kind of stuff. Um, you know, we had Empress... Uh, no, Queen Matilda died here in 1152. Uh, we had King John came siege Headingham. Uh, yeah, and he wasn't such a welcome visitor. Not very welcome, okay. he was irritating. Yeah. Uh, Henry VII came here for a week. Henry VIII, we think, came here. He was God's Hang on, hang on. Henry the Seventh came here for a week, and then the Earl of Oxford was so stupid to show off his his essentially his private army, wasn't it? When when he left, yeah. and they were all waving him goodbye. And Henry the Seventh said, uh, "I think that's a private army," and he said, "No, no, Lord, they're uh, or sire, they're all here to to pay homage to you." Anyway, he'd find him the Sorry, equivalent no. of. 50 million quid or something. <laughs> yeah. 50 million. No one knows if you paid it. No. Anyway, we're going to have fun. So let, if we go through this secret something or other, just like a bookcase, typical heading them. Yeah, no, um, so I'm going to... Yeah. <laughs> oh, let's go through. Let's go through. And then we're going to find some of our more fun recent visitors. Right. So you're coming into the back mm. of the house now. These are the... the um, I can't remember whether you've been in here yet, but... Uh, Okay. This is uh, this is where the children keep their trainers, which is obviously a very important area of the house. <laughs> so we're actually not really we don't tend to talk about our visitors much, but we just thought what's what's a fun place to ha animate who's been here since we've been here, and so we started accumulating all the photographs. And this is our, our sort of celeb wall. It's not very really big, but it's a bit of fun, and just so some of the characters who've been here over the years. Um, so where do we begin? So well, should we start just at this end? Well, let's start here. Oh, look at him. So if you have a look at this character, um, this is Ronan Keating um, from, I'm not going to take that. Westlife? Westlife, yeah, there we go. Uh, <laughs> he came for a, he's got a massive dog, he came to do a, a shoot for someone. And then I was Rather doing hilariously, his dog is almost as big as him, isn't yeah. he? I don't think Life is a roller coaster, yeah. isn't it? Well, it is. Yeah. <laughs> so, right. Uh, oh, look, this is Larry Lamb. So, Larry came to do a documentary about um, this sort of a house, and it was really funny because we didn't know who he was, and we had no idea that Gavin and Stacey even existed. And we were sitting having lunch with him, and Jace eventually said, <laughs> What do you do? <laughs> and he said, yeah. Well, actually, I'm an actor. And we said, Oh, are you? And he said, um, I knew you didn't know who I was. And he said, I wasn't really feeling the love. And I said, well, it's funny because everyone in the office has gone completely mad about your presence. So we knew you were famous, but we didn't know why. So he said, right, I'm off to the office. And he went to the office and, he, and they were all having hugs and selfies and all that sort of thing. Yeah, and he and said, it's good because I feel the love now. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> he was feeling a little bit un Tell he was a superman. I mean, he was lovely. He was yeah, good he fun. was really nice. Um, Sean Bean, he was here doing something, he, all, all the girls well, he was think doing he's a bit of a heartthrob, oh, isn't he? He's great, isn't he? Um, he was good. And look at him in that armour, that's, uh, that's pretty exciting. Yeah. He, he was doing a trailer for Macbeth, wasn't he, on the coldest day ever. Yeah, it was quite fun. It was sort of minus 20. So I'm a bit of a petrol head, as you may have gathered, and we have this uh, few Porsche events over the years, many over the last decade. And uh, this character, he was known as Quick Vic, Vic Alford, who was a famous racing driver in the 60s and 70s. And I think he did 240 miles an hour down the Malsain Strait at uh, Le Mans. Completely crazy, but um, one of the rare people who's alive. And this was with some of the cars that they actually drove in those days, so that was great fun. Um, he was a lovely man, wasn't he? Yeah, he was fantastic. Yeah. Um, oh, and at that, that uh, Porsche event... Well, I was, we were um, in the kitchen, weren't we? So yes. we were in the kitchen, and someone came in and said, Oh, Jason, can you make this chap some coffee? And I went, yes, yes. Um, and this chap came in and said, Hello, I'm Jason. Me, and I said, well, I'm Jason too. And it was JK from Jamiroquai, who's a huge petrol head. 
And, we're and still, I'm also yeah. a huge Jamiroquai fan, so I was really excited about that. He signed my album. Um, yeah. So I was saying to him, oh, what do you, you know, what have you been up to? Because I'd been probably on the tractor or doing some typical heading and stuff. And he said, yeah, I'd just come back uh, from a gig in Moscow, really tired because the plane was delayed, the private jet. <laughs> I don't know how we have different lives. So that was quite That fun. was very amusing. Freddie Fox is here doing some filming. Tasha was rather excited about that because he's a sort of future star, isn't he? And this is one of the most iconic You probably can't potions. see it any very easily. But, um, um, Alexander McQueen and Isabella Blow showing, you know, just being Very them. famous photograph. It yeah. David LaChapelle and it won um, lots of prizes and we tried to get a copy of it. The National Gallery bought it. National Portrait Gallery. I thought I'd give it to you for Christmas, didn't I? And so I went to the National Gallery and they said, yes, well, that'll be £77,000. So anyway, you got a mazel. So she got three for me, which is very <laughs> sweet. <laughs> yeah. exactly. um, so I was pottering up the drive in a beaten up old car one day and there was a limo parked outside the door. Oh dear, was I supposed to be greeting someone? And uh, the driver got out and opened the back door and out uh, steps to Derek Jacobi. The, the famous, um, what is he, he's a sort of Shakespearean he's actor, actor of so unbelievable many, yeah. status, isn't he? So, um, I, he then said, oh, the film crew are late by an hour and a half, so I had an hour and a half chatting to him about Laurence Olivier and all these friends of his in the past. And, and um, the, the programme was about the, um, the fact that... Um, yeah, the 17 third of Oxford might have been Shakespeare. Yeah. There's a huge, um, huge group of Americans particularly who believe in it very passionately that Shakespeare of Stratford was not the real... real um, so you were then uh, talking about which play, was it Richard the Third or...? Um, yes, or Othello, I can't remember what was uh, it. No, it was one of the I've been put plays. on the spot because I'm not very good at Shakespeare. <laughs> anyway, he was the expert, he was the one that Derek, Derek was talking to and Derek kept having to pee you the lines. Well, I suddenly found a camera over Derek's shoulder filming me and I thought this was supposed to be a camera over my shoulder filming Derek. And I then appeared on some random television programme about it, which is a bit funny. It's very funny, isn't it? Uh, uh, my mother was so cross because he then came and had a really nice lunch and she just so wanted to be there, but I mm. stupidly didn't know about her, that was a shame. And look, here's Jamie Oliver. Now, Jamie is now actually a neighbour of ours, not that we've met him, but he, um, he did us an enormous favour, didn't he? He came here to do the food fight, which was when he was doing where he was doing puddings. It was based ours. off, was like between the Italians. Yeah, the, so the, the, the Italians the versus the Britons, and, and who did the best puddings. And, um, but his one throwaway comment, which was amazing. He said, yes, he yeah. said, um, oh, we've got a restaurant on the end of South End Pier, and they're doing tons of work, um, getting, you know, reusing, you know, getting, re replacing the warp timbers. I mean, I was yeah. literally down there the next day, and that was probably. 10 years ago or something, and we've redone most of the castle using South End Pier, and I'm sure I've blathered on about it, but we've done the basement, the first floor. Well, you've um, seen him on his knees. It's pretty amazing, and that's all thanks to Jamie. So, yeah. thanks Jamie. Um, that was a wonderful little tip. That was a wonderful tip. So we've then we've had Towie here. A couple of times. So a couple of times. That was Arge's birthday party, wasn't it? Yeah, they yeah, were quite, uh, he came as Henry VIII. <laughs> and all the bucks and wenches had to dress up. So a bucks and wench in the old days, you know, um, obviously we had the bodice thing going on. And, uh, but, but they had a quite a good interpretation, didn't they? They yeah. had the bucks and wench mini skirt look. Yeah. Uh, and the bucks and uh, wench massively high heels, a Labutin kind of look. It was very funny. Um, and look, here's Joey Essex. He came back for another programme, didn't he? Yeah, that was, that was they've all got very shiny teeth and perma perma tans. Hey, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, no, this is exciting. Uh, beautiful Porsche. Beautiful yeah. Porsche. Yeah, very important. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we were on Find It, Fix It, Flog It. That was that was a real key yeah. moment of our celeb life. Wasn't we didn't seem to have got a picture of um, salvage hunters. We no, did that. We don't have Drew, do we? We do have a picture of Drew somewhere. Somewhere. Uh, but look who's here. We then go uh, into yeah. the Hollywood A list. So this was quite random, this was so sitting funny. in my office upstairs, which I do occasionally, and the phone went, and um, it was um, a Scottish lady, and I'm trying to do a Scottish, Scottish accent. Irish. 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 Irish, okay. And she said, um, I'm not so good at my Irish accent. Can I speak to uh, your celebrity liaison officer? And I said, sorry. She just repeated it. And I went, um, thinking it was a friend of mine taking the mickey. 
<laughs> so um, I thought I'd just put you through. So, hello, Celeb Jude Liaison Department. And uh, she said she had a, um, she had a Hollywood A-list who wanted to come to our Porsche event. And I went, are you being serious? She went, no, he really does. I said, well, who is he? And she said, well, it's um, Matt LeBlanc from France. And I went, really? She said, yes, he's wanted to come for years, but he's always been busy filming, what was he doing? Something. Oh, ep um, episodes. Episodes of yeah. some TV thing. Anyway, it was free his diary at that time. Anyway, he, he did come, and he's, he's been a couple of times, and he's good fun, he's quite naughty, very naughty. Um, and we said to him, we, we said, we can't do frills here, because, you know, I'm the cook, and he's the butler, and it's, you know, it's just the way it is. So if he's happy to be en famille, and just, you know, take it, you know, breakfast as it comes. Yeah, he'd be like, saying with us. You know, and if you have, you know, the children, you know, playing croquet with him or whatever. Then, then it's great, and he was really thrilled with that, wasn't he? Had a really um, nice time. And Tasha, who was pretty small at the time, our daughter, she <laughs> sort of went up and we said, Tasha, this is Matt, he's an actor. And Tasha sort of looked at him, sort of flared nostrils, said, I do speech and drama. <laughs> and poor Matt didn't know what to say, did he? No, he I don't think he knew what that meant, but it was very sweet. It was really fun having him around. Yeah. And look, here's the Queen. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure that she, was here, though. She wasn't but here, but she was... Um, one of the ladies who lived here was Margaret Blackie, and she was the um, homeopathic doctor to the Queen. So, so that's a good association, isn't it? Um, oh, Matt. Um, yeah. And jazz thing. So that's our sort of yeah, that's our little smattering of. So if anybody wants ads. to come, you know, and 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 who was here recently? World's First Cinema, who is a pop group. So and then um, from LA, that so, was like you know, I got sent out yeah. to make sure I have the hug shot. And then we had um, Hauser. Steps. We then had Hauser here. He's the amazing cellist. We haven't got him on the wall yet, have we? Um, Steps did their last video. <laughs> That's really important. That it Swept up the drive in a, yeah. in a Ed, the, mini the, bus. Uh, Henry the Seventh Steps last video. I think they're yeah. probably pretty comfortable. So the yeah. Darkness. That the Darkness, He yes. was here, that singer. <laughs> uh, Adam Ant. Adam Ant. We yeah. had Mark Rylance being uh, Leonardo da Vinci in the cellar. That was quite exciting. We, that was, yeah. we weren't here for that, were we? Um, usually we don't recognise them because yeah. they don't look anything like they look on screen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a little taster. I hope you enjoyed yeah, it. Yeah, that's, uh, that's all good fun, isn't it? Um, so if you want to see more, tune in for the next episode. Please subscribe to us so we know whether you like it or not. And please leave us your comments. And, um, and if you want to come and stay and you are a celebrity, obviously we'll, we'll think about it. <laughs>